One of my favorite lab hacks is 80% glycerol. And so glycerol is super duper helpful in the lab for things like storing protein stocks, bacterial stocks, making things more like osmotically balanced so cells don't burst and stuff. Basically it's really useful, but it's also really gunky. It's extremely viscous. And so if you were to try to pipette 100% glycerol, then you'd have problems and you can see it sucks up and all sorts of weird stuff. And so yesterday I talked about some techniques that you can use like reverse pipetting um, to help you pipette viscous solutions. But really the best thing is just to avoid the super viscous ones. And you can do this by making an 80% glycerol stock. This allows you to avoid the super duper gunkiness, but still get the benefits of glycerol. And so you don't even have to pipette for this. So basically what I do is I want to make an 80% solution. So depending on how much volume you want, you'll add 80 per 100 mils. So I'm making um, 250, so this will be 200 of glycerol and 50 of water. So what I did is I just put the water into my beaker up to the 50 mil, um, and now I'm going to add glycerol. And so I can add this glycerol just by pouring. Um, if you have a really heavy bottle, you might want to pour it into something else first. Um, and make sure that you pour, try to not get it on the sides of the vessel. Then what hap when I get close, I like to pour from like a smaller container um, so I can have a little more accuracy. And remember, you wanna go till the meniscus. Um, so the bottom of the meniscus, the bottom of the smile is right on the line. Okay, so something like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to mix this. And so in order to mix this, I'm going to use my favorite, favorite thing in the lab parafilm. So parafilm, if no one, if you haven't used it before, it's kind of like a cling wrap, like a saran wrap, but it's thicker. Um, and it's super duper useful for all sorts of things, including for mixing solutions. So you can just put it over the top and now you can invert and you can see that it's all kind of mixing together and that you have this really viscous liquid in here. Um, so you mix and you mix and you want to get this really thorough, but you can already see that it's flowing much better than the 100%. Um, you can see it's already flowing much better than like the 100% glycerol. It's gonna have pet much easier too. You can also do 50% glycerol solution, um, but that way if you wanted a higher concentration of glycerol in your final working concentration, then you're also going to have to add more of it. Um, and if you wanted like a buffer instead of water, um, then that could be an issue, but you could also make your glycerol stock in a buffer. Once it's mixed, um, you're going to want to um, filter it. So I used to use like a vacuum filter um, so this is just like a 0.2 micron. It's really good for getting rid of little buggy stuff. Um, so speaking of little buggy stuff, the reason, one of the main reasons why we want to filter this is because glycerol is like the sugary thing and microbes like bacteria and stuff, um, they can feed on it and so they can grow on it. And so we don't want that to happen. We don't want to, to grow in our glycerol. And so we can vacuum filter them. But these things are super duper easy to use. Um, just make sure that it's screwed all the way on tight. Now you can pour it in. I like to pour a little just to make sure it's going. Turn on the vacuum line and it should start sucking through. It might take a while because the glycerol is viscous, um, but it should eventually start dripping through, giving you a glycerol solution. There you can see. So yeah, you might have to leave it for a while um, and let it do its thing. But in the end, you'll have a solution that's going to be much, much easier to pipette. So you can see already it's pipetting much better than when I tried to do the um, 100%. But also still remember to use careful techniques because it still is viscous. So you might wanna use like reverse pipetting and things that I talked about yesterday. So hope that helps and happy making glycerol.